Like a fine wine, I guess I just get better with age. Who said old guys can't be awesome? In this video, we're talking about the classic trope of the cool old guy. If you'd like to see more of this series, subscribe to the channel and like this video. He could be one of the protagonist's older relatives, a seasoned veteran who helps the young'uns out, or just a ridiculously jacked dude in his 60s who's ready to beat up some punks for the greater good. Whoever he is, fans love him and he's a standout member of the cast. Generally speaking, an older person naturally has more experience than a younger person. Since they've lived longer, they often have plenty of advice to dole out to younger heroes. These types of characters work because they remind us, the audience, of someone in our life, maybe a wise grandpa or an especially down-to-earth teacher. These types of characters run the gamut from a grizzled sage like Obi-Wan Kenobi. Rest easy, son. You've had a busy day. You're fortunate to be all in one piece or the Hawaiian shirt-wearing Grandpa Max. Cool comes in many forms after all, but the key thing here is that they are A, older than the protagonist, and B, always willing to lend a helping hand and give guidance. More often than not, these characters dish out their support from the sidelines. That could mean doing research and facilitating training sessions like Giles does for Buffy in Buffy the Vampire Slayer, and occasionally stepping up to threaten the bad guy. And Buffy will be alive back here. Sorry. I'm not convinced. Would you like me to convince you? Or it could be a character providing high-tech gear to the heroes like Jerry does in Totally Spies. Now then, these gadgets will help you on your mission. Even though they're not the main characters, their presence is still felt, and the heroes acknowledge that they wouldn't be able to save the day without them. Timing, Jerry. You saved us from the frogs. Perhaps one of the most well-loved examples of this archetype is Alfred Pennyworth, the loyal butler of Batman. Alfred. Keep going, sir. Keep going. Whether he's appearing in a comic or the Dark Knight trilogy, fans love Bruce Wayne's tireless assistant. At the end of the day, Alfred is the one making much of Batman's adventures possible by maintaining the Wayne Manor and serving as a surrogate father for the cynical caped crusader. Uncle Iroh from Avatar The Last Airbender is another fan-favorite example. Even years after the series has ended, people find themselves quoting his various inspirational monologues. Iroh is more than just a tea-sipping, advice-giving stock character, though. He serves to show that the Fire Nation isn't just a nation of savage warmongers. Early on, he lets viewers know that there is clearly good within these people. See, a great, cool old guy like Iroh embodies all of the classic mentor tropes and serves to boost the themes and narrative in the process. Just give me your money, old man! With a poor stance, you are unbalanced and you can be easily knocked over. In other instances, the cool old guy will serve as the catalyst for the younger character's adventures. The eccentric older man will usher their youthful counterpart into a world of excitement. Doc Brown is the one who sends Marty McFly into the future, kickstarting the events of the whole Back to the Future trilogy. He's a bit of a weirdo, sure, but at the end of the day, that just makes him even cooler. Grandpa Rick is the reason why Morty is always flying through time and space. Although the coolness of Rick is debatable, he serves as more of a subversion of the cool old guy trope, since he is not a good mentor or support figure for his grandson. Like, <laughs> at all. My God! Concentrate, Morty! Concentrate and turn into a car, Morty! Get off my lawn. Then, there are the old guys who aren't just cool, they're kick-ass too. These characters are fun because they play with our expectations about old age. We expect the elderly to be pushing their walkers and playing shuffleboard, not whipping out shotguns or fist-fighting villains. Fighting games in particular love this trope. King of Fighters has the scruffy middle-aged Seisu, father of the fighter Kyo Kusanagi. Meanwhile, Guilty Gear has the formerly retired 84-year-old Cliff. And Street Fighter has the 140-year-old immortal hermit Oros. There's something immensely satisfying about playing a wrinkled character and beating your younger opponent into a pulp. Anime series tend to utilize these character archetypes often as well. The medium allows for way more exaggeration than live action, so it's easier to pull off having a comically aged dude with super strength whooping butt. One of the most iconic characters in anime fits this trope to a T. 
Master Roshi. Okay, ready? He might seem like just some pervy old dude, and he looks pretty unassuming with his cane and goofy shirt. That is, until he unleashes his rippling muscles. The contrast between his normal appearance and the one he has while fighting is so exaggerated that it makes his transformation that much more awesome. Perhaps one of the most interesting versions of the cool old guy are the ones that we see age before our very eyes. You know, the heroes whose franchises have been around and thriving for so long that the actors themselves have aged with their fans. I want you to train me. All right, I need somebody solid, and who else better to go to? All right, you at least owe me that. There's something heartwarming about watching a beloved underdog character like Rocky Balboa grow up into a mentor for the newcomer fighter Donnie in Creed. It feels like a natural progression for the character, and by making Rocky into an inspirational coach, he fits into the classic cool old guy mentor mold. He's older than the rest of the cast this time around, but is obviously well respected and still very lovable. Of course, not every character makes that transition into cool old guy very well. Franchises that opt to bring back aging stars often end up feeling like an uninspired cash grab. While Sylvester Stallone nailed his comeback in Creed, he's also had some cringy turns with remakes. Yeah, there's nothing they can do to stop it. Rambo Last Blood just didn't work with a 73-year-old Stallone at the helm. He doesn't quite sell as an action old dude, and it feels pretty stale. Simply having an old guy with a gun doesn't automatically earn cool points with the audience. A notable video game cool old guy is Old Snake in Metal Gear Solid 4, Guns of the Patriot. Technically, Snake isn't that old, but he's getting gray fast due to the stress of being a soldier and because he's a clone. But despite his aging appearance, he still kicks just as much ass as he did in the previous games. Interestingly, the whole cast of the series is filled with badass old men. Antagonist Revolver Ocelot is in his 60s, and there's a character named The End from MSG3 who is over a century old but still an expert sniper. There's always a little bit of truth in fiction, right? That's ultimately why tropes like these play so well with audiences. Chances are you have a cool older uncle with a motorcycle, or you know a gruff old veteran who looks like he could beat up a punk. Even if you don't personally know a cool old guy, there are a few major real-life stars who fit the bill. And of course, we can't talk about cool old dudes without mentioning Danny Trejo. I mean, look at the guy. He exudes cool. The 77-year-old actor cemented himself as an icon with his roles in Heat, Con Air, Desperado, and perhaps most famously, his character Machete. Not only is he a star, he's just an all-around good dude. In 2019, footage came out showing Trejo running up to a car accident and rescuing a child from the overturned SUV. It really doesn't get any cooler than that. I just, I just want to cry. I just know, I just knew how, how scared he was. Last but not least, there's the coolest old guy of them all, Stan Lee. Holy shit! Aren't you? Oh, Stan Lee. Hi. There aren't many people out there who can rouse up a theater full of fans with just a 30-second cameo, but the legendary Marvel comic book writer does it every time. Lee is to thank for most of the comic book favorites like Spider-Man, Hulk, Thor, Iron Man, and more. Even after his retirement in the 90s, he kept appearing in films in the Marvel Universe up until his death at the age of 95 in 2018. His final cameo appearance was in Avengers Endgame in 2019, as an incredibly cool-looking car driver who passes by. Hey man, make Lee is cited as an inspiration by many and helped out a lot of newcomers to the comics world, making him the epitome of the cool old guy. All of these examples merely scratch the surface of the wonderful world of awesome elders. There are, of course, plenty of cool old ladies out there as well, but that's a topic for another video. Who's your favorite cool old guy? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe.